Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better day. Welcome to morning caffeine chat. I don't even know what we're gonna call it. Breakfast of champions, little bit of caffeine. I'm out of every single energy drink except for Bang, and this one is the Bangster Berry. Not one of my favorites, but it's the only thing I have on hand. If you watched last week's video, you saw this disaster. Well, it was much smaller last week. Now that Chris is gone back to work, I've sorta, not sorta, I have taken over his eBay store. He organizes a lot differently than I do. So when something sells, I have a hard time finding it with his system. Since he could be gone for months and months, I'm redoing the entire system. So I've brought everything that was out in my office into the house, reorganizing that, <laughs> storing it, labeling it, putting it in totes so that it's gonna be easier for me to find. But in the meantime, I am literally living in a hoarder's kitchen but it's just full of clothes. It's already 7.30. I have dropped Briley off at school, took a shower, two loads of laundry, did microderm abrasion on my face. I normally don't do this on my face until nighttime, but I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. If you are a regular, one of my friends over here, you've probably noticed my absence I'm going through some stuff. I'm extremely withdrawn from life. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's the season. 100% believe in seasonal depression. So much so that I bought a happy light. I'll show you that in a second, but I'm hoping that it helps. I wrestle with these thoughts and emotions especially here recently. I've been having a rough time with my blood sugar levels, so I'm sure that that plays a part in it. I've just been absent on everything. Social media for probably three months now. Over here on YouTube, even life. I've been absent from life. I can't snap out of this for some reason. I know I'm probably rambling. I'm part of that generation, I'm almost 50, okay? Where you're like, suck it up buttercup, rub some dirt on it, move on, and let's get this show on the road kind of thing. It's not working for me anymore. I can't suck it up. I don't like to, seems weird to say this because I'm doing it right now with you guys. I don't like to talk about my feelings. I don't like to talk about my emotions. And when I have all of this going on, I sort of pull back. I don't talk to anyone. I do not talk to my mom. I swear it feels like weeks. I mean, we'll text, but I don't want to physically talk to anyone because it's so draining. So the point I was trying to get at here is I've not been taking care of myself. I've not been doing the things for myself that I need to or should. I usually get up, get dressed, put makeup on, function. I've not been doing that. I've been staying in my pajamas. I forced myself to brush my teeth. I've not been doing things like microderm abrasion. I've not been doing this in months. This has been coming on now for months. This was not the plan for the day to come over here and pour my heart out. I'm just going to try to get back into a routine. Maybe that's going to help me. Getting up, taking my shower, getting dressed, putting some makeup on, fixing my hair, going about some sort of form of work instead of laying on a couch and binge watching Game of Thrones for the 15th time. But this is not the normal me, and I want the normal me back. I want to get out of my head, and um, I'm definitely going to talk to my doctor about this next time I go back because I'm starting to think it might be some depression going on. 
and it definitely needs to be addressed because I can't continue at this rate that I'm at. I used to talk about this thing all the time. I don't even know who makes it. I can't remember. I honestly believe that it helped with the acne that I had going on. I completely stopped using it for several, several months now and I've stopped doing everything. <laughs> washing my face, using my serums, using Revita Lash. My eyelashes are gone, basically taking care of myself. And I feel like I've aged 20 years. Nothing wrong with aging, but I do want to do it gracefully. And I feel like I'm not. I feel like I've just let it all go. So I'm going to get back to doing this once a week because I'm starting to have acne flare-ups again, blackheads and dead skin. I ordered it on Amazon. I don't, like I said, remember who makes it, but I'll list it down below. It helps tremendously with my acne and uh, getting the dead skin off of my face. <gasps> it's got this little uh, like diamond tip thing and that's what gets all of the dead skin off and then the little machine sort of sucks all of that out and you've got this little filter that goes inside. <gasps> and when you take it out, you get to see all of the stuff that came off your face. Let me show you. You see the little ring? That little ring that's on that little filter is all of the dead skin and dirt and grime that was on my face. So I did that this morning. I even put some Revital Lash on, put some lotion on my face because uh, she was getting dry. I've got a ton of work to do this morning. I have so many packages that need to be shipped out today for eBay, Poshmark, and Depop. So I'm going to get those together. There are some more wedding photos. We'll be putting those up, talking about them during the snack and chat. But yeah, meals, drinks, everything that goes on today. Hang out with me. Let's take my blood sugar because I haven't done that this morning really quick just to see where I'm at. 134. I'll take it. Okay. A day in the life. Let's get it started before I forget. This is my happy light. It's got multiple different settings on it. It's supposed to simulate natural light. These are especially good for like in the fall and stuff when it gets dark at four. I picked this up at Goodwill for like $3.99 or $4.99, but you can get these just about anywhere. I'm sure they're on Amazon. I have it sitting at the sink so it's pointed over here at the island so while i'm working packaging taking pictures and stuff all i have to do is just turn it on and set the brightness and the color tone that i want perfect for days like this when the sun does not shine and it's rainy and gloomy out i'll see if i can find it this one that I have, and if I do, I'll just link it down in the description box for you. Okay, let's start packaging some of this stuff. Okay, finally got all of those packaged up. I won't go to the post office until I pick up Briley because there's no need in making a special trip. Guess who's right here stalking the window waiting for Mira to come in. But guess what? She doesn't plan on coming in anytime soon. She's sitting on the couch like a butterball turkey and enjoying the day outside and could care less that Quincy is just standing here pacing, waiting on her to come in. It's 11.15 and I must admit, I am super proud of myself. I've already listed the things that I wanted to over on eBay and Poshmark. I managed to fix my hair and put some makeup on today. I've not had makeup on in a week. I've been doing sort of a breakfast lunch kind of thing. I normally skip breakfast because I'm just not hungry in the mornings. So I eat around 11, 11.30 every day. Sort of shaking things up a bit. And luckily for me, I have leftovers in the fridge, so I'm just going to rewarm some of those. Several days ago, I had made a roast in the crock pot. So all I did was season the roast. I seared it on all sides, everything in the crock pot, and let that cook all day long. Beef broth, seasonings, I put pepperoncinis, baby carrots, 
tons of celery, onion. Instead of potatoes, what I did was I cut up some radishes. This was a big crock pot full so I've been eating on this like I said for several days and I probably have several more days of this left since it's only me and Briley in the house and to drink I'm gonna have some water. Okay 2 30 it is time to go pick up Briley from school and drop off all of these packages at the post office. Wish me luck. Look what came in the mail while I was gone. This is early. I usually don't get these until the 4th or 5th of the month. I, I'm shocked. Don't know why they're here early. Expect an unboxing this week. I'll do Keto Crate with you guys. We'll open it up and check it all out. And I'll also do My Chow Club. Chris took so much keto chow with him. That's a whole other story. But he's back on keto chow, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Today's snack and chat is gonna be really quick. And that's because I realized I already talked way too much this morning. What I'm having? Decaf tea. I've started just brewing my own so I don't have caffeine during the day. It's just the little Lipton tea bags. I brew it in advance, put it in the refrigerator, and it stays cold. Then all I have to do is add whatever sweetener of choice that I want to it. Snack today. <laughs> Fitting, isn't it? Chalk Zero. These are the solid chocolate to pumpkins, but they're the white chocolate. I had a massive order of Chalk Zero products not long ago. I probably should have showed that in a grocery haul. But I'm going to open this up. This is what they look like. They're just little individual pumpkins. I'm not a huge white chocolate fan, except for when it comes to Chalk Zero. Are these not just adorable? Oh, they're so good. Excuse the chewing. There's 20 individual ones in here. One net carb per little pumpkin. Well worth it. I'm pretty sure that everybody is having a Halloween sale right now. I know that Perfect Keto is having theirs. It's like spend so much, get 31% off. Chalk Zero is probably having a big sale too. What I'll do is I'll put the links to those sales down in the description box. With the Chalk Zero one though, you would probably have to use the discount code that's down there. But it's gonna be the perfect time to stock up on your treats while these sales are going on because there probably won't be any more big sales until Black Friday. Since I already did a ton of talking this morning, like way too much talking. What I'm gonna do right now is let you see some of the wedding photos that we got back and they're amazing. Absolutely gorgeous, worth every single penny. I already have the one that I showed at the very beginning of the whole family as my screensaver on the computer. I cannot wait to have some of these printed off and displayed throughout the house. Kerrigan looked amazing. Preston looked handsome. Briley looked absolutely gorgeous. The whole family. I'm just so pleased with these pictures. If I can remember, I will put the name and I think it's the Instagram page of the photographer that took them in the description box in case anyone in the general vicinity is interested in a photographer. Now I know I'm not going to be able to show all of the photos right now, so I will add some more at the very end if you want to hang out. But like I said, I'm not going to sit here and talk too much. I just wanted to let you see some of the wedding pics because I told you guys I would throw these in at some point as soon as we got them. I'll see you at the next meal and remember stick around to the end to see some more of the wedding photos. Let's discuss dinner. Now you know I like quick and I like convenient meals. I want things ready in minutes. Instant gratification. I'm gonna be making the real good foods taco. I like to make it in the air fryer. This one is the crispy chicken shell taco with chicken and cheese inside. I like the beef the best, but they do have three different ones to choose from. I actually got this free. They're about $7. There's two in here. You can pick them up at Walmart and grocery 
grocery stores, but my last keto crate had a coupon in it for a free one. So I picked it up last time I went to the grocery store. I'm going to put both of them in the air fryer with some additional cheese, but I'm only going to eat one of them and then I'll just reheat the other one for tomorrow's lunch. I only have one jalapeno left. I added in some cream cheese, cheese, and some bacon bits, some seasonings, mixed all that together, stuffed it, put it in the air fryer on top of the chicken taco. I added some salsa, sour cream, and additional jalapenos. For dessert tonight, I'm actually having something I've not been eating a lot of lately, and that is the Ratio Keto Friendly Yogurt. I used to eat two or three of these daily, but not so much anymore. I only have one about every two or three days. This one is the strawberry. I'm having it tonight because I feel like I need to get in some more fat and protein. It's got 15 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, and only two carbs. What I do is I stir that up and then add probably half of this can of sugar-free whipped heavy cream. I'm not exaggerating. I add a lot and I just stir it up. It thins it out because it's a really thick yogurt, which I do like. So I'm going to go have this and you guessed it, I'm going to binge watch some Game of Thrones. It's getting pretty late, about 9.45. I'm calling it a night because I woke up at like 6 this morning. It's time for bed. I'm going to go wash my face and put some lotion on and some revitalize on these lashes and i'm gonna head to bed try to get in bed by 10 o'clock crossing my fingers thanks for hanging out with me today if you haven't already subscribed i'd love to have you as a member of my youtube family i'm gonna have tons of links and discount codes and social media accounts i've not been active on in the description box if you want to go check those out but i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you have an amazing day can you believe it's like November in like five minutes. It's going to be November in no time. And before you know it, it's going to be 2023. Time flies. Okay, let me show you some more pictures. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.